Today we will learn how the fuel oil differential pressure switch actually works, its working principle and its operational troubleshooting including the actual working of the spring plates making contacts to normal opening, normal closed contacts. So this pressure switch is of MAN STX auxiliary engine. I have already replaced it with the new one and this one I have brought just for the explanation purpose. If you can see this bottom end is the connection at which the main fuel oil pressure will act and this LP section there is one banjo bolt fitted you see the fuel oil pressure once it acts from the bottom connection on the bellow there is one diaphragm or a bellow let me show you more closely now once the pressure acts on this bellow it this bellow once the fuel oil pressure acts on this bellow it will compress the spring which you can see at the back end of the differential pressure control plate this spring once it is compressed as per the set value of the differential pressure switch which is on the black color plate you can see on your screen there is a one plate on the top end of this let me show you manually how it is done if you can see the moment on the right side where the electrical connection is there i am putting screwdriver there this plate once the fuel oil pressure acts from the bottom end on the diaphragm, it will compress the plate via the spring. Once the plate is compressed, you can see the movement of the plate. This plate, yes. So once the plate is compressed, there is a very small switch known as reed switch. It will try to make the contacts from normally closed to normally open contacts in this circuit. And the alarm will come in the ECR on the AMS panel. So let me show you with the help of the multimeter how is it is actually working. Now you look closely. These contacts are basically normally closed contacts. Now I will do it manually. Once the pressure acts on the spring, the spring will compress and activate the switch like I'm doing manually. So now it will become an open circuit. So it was normally closed and upon making the contact, it became normally open circuit. So now we'll try with the other. Similarly, this one is a normally open circuit. Once the tension acts on the spring, it will activate the pressure switch and it became normally closed circuit. See, now it became normally closed circuit. You can see the values on the multimeter screen. Normally, its setting is 0 0.15 to 1.5 bar as per the manual of the engine. But there are two scales, one is on the left side and one is on the right side. Left side is MPA, on the right side is the bar switch. The unit is in the pressure is in the bar unit. As per this scale, the current differential pressure switch setting is at 1.5 bar. I will try to show you more closely. But the most important thing to learn is how it is working, its working principle basically now we don't have the fuel oil pressure so i am doing it manually this electrical component is the main system which is giving an alarm which is acting so now the pressure will act from the bottom where i'm putting the screwdriver it will act on the diaphragm diaphragm will give the tension to the spring now the spring has a connection on top end of the plate once the plate is compressed on the left side it will try to incline on the right side there is a small switch known as reed switch the reed switch will turn the contacts into the normally open to the normally closed and you will get an alarm on your AMS panel. This is how the fuel oil differential pressure switch actually works in the real life. <laughs>